Hello, friends. We all know that in order to live, we have to breathe, and to carry out this very important function, we use the respiratory system. Breathing is an involuntary process that we do without realizing, but we can control it. Today, we're going to find out what breathing consists of and how the respiratory system works. The first thing we need to know is that breathing consists of inhaling air in nature to take advantage of the oxygen it contains and thereby expelling the carbon dioxide, which is the part of the air we don't use. The first phase, which is when the air enters the lungs, is called inhalation. The second phase, which is when we expel the air we don't use, is called exhalation. They are the exact opposite. The respiratory system is responsible for breathing and for that it uses the lungs and the airways, which are the parts that compose it. The airways are tubes through which the air passes until it reaches the lungs. And they are made up of the nose and mouth, the pharynx, the larynx, the trachea, the bronchi, the bronchioles, and the alveoli. Now, let's take a look at how the respiratory system works. When we breathe in, air enters our body through our nose and mouth. The air then passes through the pharynx and into the larynx. Did you know that the larynx contains the vocal cords, which allow us to speak or sing? La 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 la. They are like the strings of a guitar. When they vibrate, they produce the voice. Well, once the air has passed through the larynx, it reaches the trachea. The trachea is divided into two tubes through which the air passes, which are called the bronchi. The bronchi, once inside the lungs, branch into narrower tubes called bronchioles. And each bronchiole leads into many small sacs called alveoli. And it is there, in the alveoli, where gas exchange takes place. The oxygen in the air passes into the blood through some very small blood vessels, which are called alveoli. Then, what is left over from the air, which is carbon dioxide, travels back through the respiratory system to be expelled outside. As you can see, the respiratory system is very important, so we have to take good care of it, and for that, we have to practice a lot of sport and take care of nature so as not to pollute the air we breathe. Healthy lungs are pink, but when we breathe in tobacco smoke or when the air is very polluted, they turn brown and stop working properly. When this happens, we get tired without doing anything and we start to feel really bad. It's certainly not very smart to damage our lungs, don't you think? So, make sure you do lots of physical exercise and remember, never ever smoke. 
to ensure that your lungs will always be very healthy and that you will always be very happy. Goodbye friends, see you in the next video. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.